all that you can kind of tap into sites today. Uh, many of you maybe have read it. I did uh, email a copy to, to Bruce and Betty Jones, as I did see both of you at the uh, meeting Tuesday night. And I will email it to everyone else uh, later on. Uh, essentially, the letter uh, tried to take, um, I basically took all my notes and, and tried to summarize all the opposition that all these people uh, brought up at, at the meeting, which all are completely reasonable concerns and requests. Um, so I put together uh, a list of these uh, these oppositions and have, and have tried to explain or provide more detail to maybe put, put their concerns at ease. Uh, I won't be able to read this letter in five minutes, but I have a couple of my colleagues to finish if that's okay. Um, so uh, with respect to uh, JORBA, uh, New Jersey Off-Road Bicycling Association, um, our organization currently assists county, county governments, state governments, local governments, uh, park managers, land use managers, in the construction and maintenance of, of safe, tra uh, safe, sustainable mountain biking and mixed use trails. Actually, most of the trails we work on are mixed with hiking, horses, and, and bikes. So that's pretty much the, the standard, not the exception, throughout the state of New Jersey. Uh, that's in 21 parks that we have, we have involvement with, uh, hopefully 22 shortly. Um, and again, I know the, the issue of, of, of a park versus a, a reservation has been brought up, but from a, from a practical standpoint, we, we actually have mountain biking trails, state parks, state forests, reservations, besides Washington, uh, county parks, wildlife reserves. It, just because it has a name doesn't mean that there can't be a bike trail in it from, from a legal or, or a, an ecological standpoint. Um, so I, again, I, I'm gonna bring up a couple of the, uh, there's 11 points total, we'll see how far I can get till I run out of time. Uh, the first opposition, which you've heard, uh, is a reasonable one, which is how come we haven't heard much about this bike trail plan? And I, I guess my answer uh, reiterates a lot of what, what the county freeholders have been saying, which is, you know, freeholder meetings and are not front page news, but the information regarding the trail master plan and the integration of biking in the Washington Reservation was always public, publicly available via the minutes from the freeholder meetings and frequent local newspaper records uh, reports. Uh, the trail plan has been development with the county hired engineering plan, CME Associates, since 2014. Uh, it was adopted in February 2016 and it's been available publicly online, the actual plan, uh, since it was adopted. Um, and, pa and people, passionate stakeholders such as bikers but also hikers and birders and runners and everyone else has seen this, has access to this information and has had their voice heard, um, certainly not on the grand scale that everyone wishes could have happened but the, the real passionate stakeholders have been involved in communicating uh, with the county and freeholders uh, on this issue. Um, and, and as a result, the plan has evolved and the, the plan continues to evolve. And I understand that it's frustrating when the county releases it in, in chunks and it's not necessarily up to date with the latest bit of information. So I, I, wanna, I wanna get that point across that this is a, a plan that's evolving based on feedback from all stakeholders surrounding people who own properties, people who are who are doing other activities in the park. It's, it's not being done in a vacuum, but with mountain bikers and tree holders in the back room somewhere. Uh, who is building the trails? This is the next issue. Uh, who is building these trails and what are the liability and safety issues? Um, as has been said, the trails are being routed and built by, by county managers, uh, county employees who are, who are trained in IMBA specifications. Uh, they're getting support from us. We offer our support. Uh, from, from Jorba members who are obviously also trained in, in IMBA specifications. Um, IMBA, uh, these standards, which are International Mountain Bike Association for Trail Building, these are the standards that are used by the U.S. Forest Service, the New York, New Jersey Trail Alliance, and virtually all trail building organizations in the country. So these are the standards that are used to build safe, sustainable trails, not just for biking, but for everything. This is, this is, this is state-of-the-art stuff. Um, Again, everyone who's building this is trained in JORBA specifications. Also, you should know JORBA members are insured. They're covered by JORBA's liability ins uh, insurance company. Uh, so that that is even before the county insurance even gets involved. Thank you. I'm sorry, your time is up. All right, I'll pass on issue number three to my colleague, Joe. Thank you. Hi, Joe Weiss. I live in Westfield. Uh, I'd like first just like to thank uh, Chairman Bergen and the Board of Freeholders for your past support. Uh, in creating a, a fair plan to watch a reservation so all user groups can enjoy it. Uh, and I ask that you continue 